Faced with overwhelming evidence, I'm very relieved for the victims in this case that David Carrick has entered guilty pleas to 49 offences, including rape, false imprisonment, coercive control and sexual assault. It means they won't have to face the ordeal of giving evidence to see justice served. A serving officer with the Metropolitan Police, David Carrick was arrested by Hertfordshire officers in October 2021 following a report of rape. With the subsequent press interest, more victims came forward and whilst being supported by specialist officers, reported further offences against him. The weight of their evidence was extremely powerful and today we pay tribute to them. We commend all of the victims for their bravery in coming forward and would like to thank them for their courage in being prepared to take the stand to see justice served. More victims came forward and whilst being supported by specialist officers, reported further... Carrick held a role where he was trusted with the responsibility of protecting the public, yet over 17 years in his private life he did the exact opposite. This is a man who relentlessly degraded, belittled, sexually assaulted and raped women. As time went on, the severity of his offending intensified as he became emboldened, thinking he would get away with it. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is devastating. It's devastating for the victims that have had to go through the pain and suffering at the hands of a serving police officer. It is devastating to the trust and confidence that we are working so hard to earn from women and girls across London. It's devastating to colleagues of, of David Carrick, but we know this is a, a day that policing has definitely taken a step back, but we are absolutely committed and determined to go forward the Commissioner has clearly set out our mission on higher standards and rooting out corrupt officers and we are committed and we will continue to do that to identify as many officers and staff as we can and get them before the courts and get them out of this job. Well it's clear that today is a sobering day for the Metropolitan Police Service and indeed for the whole policing family throughout the country. Uh, this appalling uh, incident uh, represents a breach of trust, uh, will it, it will affect uh, people's confidence in, in the police and it's clear that standards and culture need to change in policing and that's why I'm driving forward changes to support the police and to support chief constables around the country in doing so. Well first of all there's over three billion pounds worth of government money which has been put forward as part of our recruitment drive to improve the vetting and recruitment processes of new police officers. The Angelini inquiry will move forward to observe and uh, inquire very closely into policing culture so that we get a better idea of what's going wrong in policing and so that we can fix it.